read the rectifier this is the circuit diagram of a bridge rectifier to construct a bridge rectifier we need four diodes here we are using one and four zero zero seven silicon diodes to construct this bridge rectifier circuit so first connect the connect all the four diodes and make the bridge and then apply the input ac a rectifier is basically a converter which converts alternating current to direct current here to construct a bridge rectifier we need four diodes in order to construct a center tap full way rectifier we need only two diodes but a step down transformer with center tapping is required to construct a center tapped full wave rectifier the peak inverse voltage requirement of bridge rectifier is just half of that of center tapped full wave rectifier that is the main advantage of this circuit here in bridge rectifier there is no need of using a transformer with center tapping so transformer without center tapping is required to construct a bridge rectifier d1 d2 d3 and d4 these are the four diodes connect all the four diodes as per the circuit diagram unless this output will be distorted now the bridge connection is completed then connect the load resistor here we are using one kilo ohm resistor as the load and then connect a step down transformer here a 230 to 6 volt step down transformer is used to supply the input AC 230 and 6 both are the both are armus values when you measure the input and output of the transformer using a multimeter it will read 230 and 6 because a multimeter will read armus value but when you connect a DSO to the circuit you can see that the entire waveform but its amplitude peak voltage will be rho 2 times input armus voltage so here we are using transformer with 6 volt at the output so on DSO you can see that the peak voltage will be root 2 into root 2 times 6 so it's around 8.4 volt this is the step down transformer connect the transformer terminals where anode of one diode and cathode of the other diode meet then connect DSO channel 1 to the input to observe the input waveform and now connect to DSO channel 1 now you can see the input waveform it is yellow the input waveform is a sine wave with frequency 50 hertz and amplitude around 19 volt now you can see that the peak to peak value is 19.2 volt and frequency is 50 hertz our line volt voltage is 230 volt and 50 hertz now connect the DSO channel to the channel 2 to the output 
to observe the output waveform. So this is the output of a bridge rectifier. This is not a pure DC. This is a pulsating DC. Its frequency will be 100 Hz because we are giving a, an input with a frequency 50 Hz to the circuit. This is a full wave rectifier. Output frequency will be 2 times the input frequency. Our input frequency is 50 Hz. Then our output frequency will be 100 Hz. Use cursors to measure frequency and amplitude. So a bridge rectifier is basically a full way rectifier. Rectifiers are classified mainly as two types half wave rectifier and a full wave rectifier. In full wave rectifier there are two types of rectifiers. First one is the center tapped full wave rectifier and the other one is the bridge rectifier. So for both center tapped full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier its output frequency will be two times the input frequency. For a half wave rectifier its output frequency will be equal to its input frequency. So both input and output frequencies are the same for half wave rectifier. Here in bridge rectifier the peak inverse voltage requirement is just a half of that of center tapped full wave rectifier that is the main advantage of the circuit. Now connect a filter capacitor 100 microfarad 25 volt electrolyte capacitor to filter its output. So output of a bridge rectifier is pulsating. A filter capacitor is used to filter its output. Filter capacitor is used to smooth and rectify the output. So we will get a pure DC at the output. Now the output is filtered and you can see some ripples are available at the output. In order to reduce the ripples we need to use the capacitor with a higher capacitance value. Here we are using 100 microfarad capacitor for filtering. When you use a capacitor with 1000 microfarad capacitance, ripple will be reduced. Then measure the peak to peak value of ripple to calculate the ripple factor. So a rectifier is basically a converter which converts alternating current AC to direct current DC. A converter which converts AC to DC is known as rectifier. There are mainly two types of rectifiers. First one is the half wave rectifier and the other one is the full wave rectifier. The full wave rectifiers are again classified into two center tabbed full wave rectifier and a bridge rectifier. For a center tapped full wave rectifier we need two 1 and 4 0, 0, 7 diodes and a step down transformer with a center tapping. But here in bridge rectifier we need four diodes and a step down transformer with, without a, a center tapping. So for a bridge rectifier there is no need of a transformer with a center tapping and peak inverse voltage requirement of a bridge rectifier is just half of that of half center type full wave rectifier that is the main advantage of this circuit 